This is the Rugby Odds, where an unlikely pundit panel of a wordsmith, a WWE legend, a rugby star, and a supermodel scour the globe, seeking best bets and bad behavior. Are you not entertained? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you, you again, I can't, I, these accolades are too much. I don't deserve it, but I love it. I love it. Thank you. But we have John Bradshaw, Layfield, and Gift A. Bailu in the sponsor opportunity green room, uh, prepping um, diligently again, always for this show, The Rugby Odds, which is episode 14 in season three. Hard to believe. Crazy, crazy. But anyway, we got a great big show for you. Here it is on the Your Company Name Here slate. You can see that it's so busy. It's jam-packed, but at the same time, it's it's going to be fast-moving, so you don't want to miss anything. And with that, let me bring the guys in. John Bradshaw, Layfield, the WWE Hall of Famer, and King Gifte Belu, inventor of words. Guys, last week, we had another very good week. How does 50 and 28 sound collectively? 50 and 28 five oh and two eight how does that can sound you're cantankerous you're mean you're a bully you're a bully you're a cyber bully too you bullied me on twitter you mean and you bully me on this show you're mean to the king who is royal you're just a bad person you're cantankerous you were 20 and six last week See? 20 and six yes because he's the champ i was only 17 and nine I got doing what I can, I'm doing what I can. Gift, you still made people money. You didn't have the best week on the planet, but you still made people money. And you were four and zero oh in the MLR. Gift, as was John after some. Do what we do. Off camera bitching by John, ladies and gentlemen, because his record yeah. was wrong. By the, the the young people that work on this show, for blood money, John is criticizing them because he's a diva. Yes, I am. I am. But we all know that the records are now right, and John's okay now to continue on the show. He threatened to four walk. 4-0. Oh. set. 4-0. Oh. Rocky Marciano Mayweather. That's us. That's me and the king. Together, we were 8-0. and oh. If you bet us, you won every single bet in Major Facts. League Rugby. That's what we do. We're Major Facts. League Rugby gods. John, you also picked the women's Six Nations. You were 3 oh, and oh, there. Oh, my God. Mic drop. And I got you, champ. I got no, you. No, Giff, you didn't get them. You were 0-3 in the Women's Six Nations, which was your undoing. I help you short some of these teams as per necessary. Hey, speaking of short, I found the ruler right here that Matt used when he tried to get into the, like the, the, the carnival. And they said, no, sorry, you're underneath the line here. You can't do it. You can host the show, but you can't do that. Right now, he's sitting on phone books. So put up, put down there. Come on there, little short man. That's right. Here's your, here's your little measure right here. I was really upset that I didn't get into the carnival this week. Really upset. Sorry about that. Again, guys, we are making money for everybody, and and you know, fifty. A lot of money. Years. You need a wheelbarrow, a wheelbarrow to haul all the money because it don't fit in your pockets. It don't fit in your wallet. You need a wheelbarrow. T R O wheelbarrow. Carry your cash right to yes. the bank. Gift. As you know, we still have to pick a wooden spoon winner, the, the least successful participant picking games. And you, sir, again, won the wooden spoon. Congratulations. Because I get the best cooking, so you get the best spoon to be able to do the best work because that's how it's done. All right, but gift, normally, you know, the guy that wins the wooden spoon would be uh, in the front runner, would be the front runner for the walk of shame. Normal but people don't exist here, all right? Bam. You're just straight up winners and unique. Bam. <laughs> we got a king on our show and a guy that's vertically challenged on our show. Normal don't exist here. Well, John, I'm glad you, you're looking at it that way because you, despite the fact that you were, what, uh, 20 and 6, you, yep. sir, are in the walk of shame. Why? You called Russell Crowe fat on this show you said he was fat you made fun of his rabbitos my rabbitos and what did they do they beat the snot of your broncos that's what they did your language is atrocious and you're getting really upset about this russell crow thing russell crow looks like russell crow ain't russell crow all right 
Yeah, he's not well, the same Russell Crowe as in Gladiator. I I love that Russell Crowe, and this Russell Crowe is probably a really fun guy, but he's just put on a lot of extra Russell Crowe around the old Russell Crowe. He's a big man, a big man. This uh, tape measure don't fit around Russell Crowe. You know okay, why? Listen, because it doesn't bend. See, it just otherwise it, that's why Russell Crowe's rabbit toes allegedly played your comments in the locker room, and then they went out and they smoked your Broncos. So they did that in vindiction for vindic- for me. Yeah. Yeah. So right. you would have been 20, you would have been 21 and 5. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this boot on my foot. And I'm going to go down there and I'm going to kick me some rub- rubble toes or oh. rabbit toes or whatever the heck they are down there in Australia. That's what I'm going to do. That's my butt kicking rabbit toes boot right there. And my Russell Crowe butt whooping boot. You have rabbit toes? Don't we'll even be right along. See, I said that first. I said that last week. You're you're stealing a joke here. You're stealing a joke. It's not stealing the Don't joke. Steal. I'm the only one that says it in the edit. All right, guys, let's go across the pond to the United Rugby Championship, the URC. They're in their quarterfinals. And here what's what here's what we have. We have Ulster minus 10 and a half at home versus Connacht. That's an all Ireland derby Leinster at home minus 18 and a half versus the sharks coming up from South Africa. Then you've got a South African derby stormers minus five and a half at home versus the bulls and Glasgow hosting Munster, but Munster road favorites by a point. So it's basically a pick them. John, who do you like? We're going across the pond. You know who lives across the pond? My pal, Gareth notes. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Gareth notes. How you doing, buddy? Miss you. Uh. So here's what I'm going with. I'm going with the Sharks are going to cover against Leinster. Too many Uh, points. Depends on what Sharks team they send. They're going to cover. Glasgow at home. They are going to be the home dog. They're going to cover against Munster. They are going to win that game. Stormers, that's South African team. They're going to win that game. And the other game is Ulster. And I'm going to take Ulster to win and cover the game. Wow. Gift. Uh, Leinster Sharks, I'm taking the Sharks because Leinster just played a (laughs) semifinals game for Heineken Cup. They're about to do another championship, another quarterfinals. That's too much energy spread. Unless they're splitting up into their B-side team, Sharks about to cover that 18 and a half. Ulster Connick, look for Connick to cover it, but not win. Look for Ulster to take it because that's 20, that's 20 point coverage. Wow. Stormers, Bulls, this is going to be a hometown beat down. The hurricane is coming through and the Stormers are going to blow those Bulls down. Make a cow. And then Glasgow Warriors and Munster look for Glasgow Warriors to take that at home. John's in a trance. John, John, you got John in a trance at cows. He, you lost him at cows because all he was thinking about was being around cows, going cow tipping, chip cow chip throwing, being at home. You ever been cow tipping? Yeah. yeah. You have? No, you haven't. You're I from have. Jersey. You're from the Jersey Swamp. You haven't been cow tipping. Oh, we did it all the time. Get, do it get all a full head of Newark. steam and hit a cow. Bam! We do it all the time in Newark. All right. I'm 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 going with all at home against Connick, although Connick is my team. Then I'm taking. You know Leinster what he needs to do? He needs to Ned Stark you, like like the king did. Cut off your head. And then your head That's go a, rolling down, and kids can play like soccer with your head. Game of Thrones reference, ladies and gentlemen. John is Littlefinger, if you haven't guessed already. Leinster, How I'm giving the little points. How about that, pal? <laughs> I'm giving the points because, despite what Gift says, the final isn't until May 20th. Leinster wants to get as much hardware as possible, and they smell blood. And Sharks coming up to Dublin, forget about it. Leinster's going to beat them by at least 20 points. The Stormers, I like that pick. I'm going to pick them as well. And then Glasgow, Munster, that's a tough one to pick. Glasgow is always tough at home. Munster has righted their ship after preseason, uh, early season crap. I'm going with Munster. I'm going with Munster. Yeah. How about them apples? You like apples, John? No, I don't. Apples are stupid. All right, apples are stupid, but we're not. So we're going to take a quick break and come For back. For what? With- we got sponsors? If we got sponsors, why are the king and I not getting paid? <laughs> we'll be right back. Why? Why are the king and I not getting paid? I'm going to turn your mic off on the co- commercial break. We will form a union. See how the man always tries to keep you down? Whenever That's the right. truth comes out, they try to suppress Your mics down. are going off. Yep. <laughs> trying to throw man, you with the other news. Us- <laughs> yep. Their mics are off. 
as we go to commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your patience. You're not having technical difficulties. They've purposely been shut off. We'll be right back. Need a great price on a new vehicle? Sheehy makes it easy. Easy Price shows you our lowest prices on the Mid-Atlantic's largest selection. Find your best price online or at any of our 31 dealerships. It's easy at Sheehy. Sheehy.com. If you're in New York City and want to watch some great rugby, have some great food, and some great times, go to the world's best rugby pub, The Pig & Whistle on West 36th Street. And we are back. And gentlemen, I hope Why you don't we and Gift have a mute button? All right. You, you obviously didn't learn your lesson. We should have a mute button. Wait, you wait Good. till we form a union on you. All right. Let's go to Major League Rugby. Atlanta hosting Chicago. Atlanta minus seven. You know, this is, uh, I, I always love these uh, green versus green. This reminds me of like the battle from Lord of the Rings whenever the trees started coming in. That's all this is. It's just the shrubberies battling up against each other randomly. But look, Chicago just hasn't been able to do anything this year. This is, this is, this is their Dallas year. They came in just with too much hype and too unprepared, thinking that talent was going to win it all. Atlanta at home, you know, I don't have the highest like for Atlanta. But uh, look for Atlanta to be able to cover this, be able to cover their home due to damage. I agree. Atlanta, we've underestimated them time and time again and overestimated Chicago most of the season. John, Dallas, yeah, Dallas hosting Old Glory, yeah. But Old Glory on the road as road favorites, minus five. Those Yankees are coming down to the great state, coming down to the south. They're going to try to win this ball game. This is a perfect trap game for Old Glory. I think Dallas has been playing exceptionally well. I think Old Glory could slip on a banana peel here. I would love to go to this game, but WWE has got a pay-per-view this weekend, and I'm doing a show after it for Sony India. Which, Where by are the your way, priorities? Out, Where are your out, priorities? Wait a minute. I found out from India, the Indian people, 1.4 billion people are there, and they all dislike you, Matt. Every one of them. <laughs> Every one of them dislike you. And a lot of them are, are like Buddhist and like calm people, and they still dislike you. Would, will they, they watch? Like, like fervently, fervently dislike you. So I'll be on with with my Indian friends from Judapur and uh, Udapur and, and Delhi and all these different great places. Mumbai, I was down in the slums of Mumbai working there and with the great uh, program down there. This, it kills me. It kills me to actually salute you for doing this work. It absolutely kills me. But at least he lets you know that the most populous country in the world does not like you. That is that is amazing. That is a feat. Do they li not feat. like me enough to translate into some clicks? <laughs> no, they love the king. They love the king. When I was in Mumbai, they, they love the king. Magician Rugby is one of the greatest programs there. Works with the, they got this kid there. He's fantastic. They named a street after him in the slums of uh, Mumbai. Really nice young man. He loves the king. He really dislikes you, Matt. But that being said, I don't get to go to the game because I've got this obligation. I think Old Glory wins the game. I think it is a perfect track. I think it's Old Glory. just actually the kissed the Dallas ass saying, oh, nope. they're going down. And then now you're picking, you're picking Old Glory? What? I always root for Texas teams. Always. Always root for Texas teams. That does not mean I think the Texas team is going to win. Oh. I think Old Glory is on a roll. But this is, they could certainly slip on a banana pill. This is a, a tricky game for Old Glory coming down here. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up losing the game. My guess, though, is that they win and cover the points. Old Glory's going to win this game. How about I that? just said they were going to win, and yeah. you said no way. Yeah, but you well, were that, like, that, oh, like, I don't want to piss off Dallas. Because I'm from Dallas. Well, not really from Dallas. I'm from, you know, outside Tyler with Merrill Campbell. So, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You do not use a mocking voice when you talk about Earl Campbell, the Tyler Rose. Fair enough. When Texas used to all chant together, run, Earl, run. Love you, Blue. When the Bell and Phillips with that big cowboy hat just says, give the ball to Earl. That's all you had to do. Don't you ever say anything disparaging about Earl Campbell. All right. <laughs> Gift, I, I don't know how you're going to accept the fact that New York is going to smoke NOLA, but NOLA is the road favorite. Minus seven points. They're, they're giving to New York at home. Nola's uh, special cannabis that they do in New York to make them feel delusional about their efforts and attempts because that's the only Nola that I can think that would be smoked because New Orleans oh is going to be coming through. Look, man, New York, 
you've had a nice run. You know, you got a championship last year, and now you get to play like the L.A. Rams in 2023, 2022, just hobbling through. All right. You, 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 you sold out everything for the win, and that's about all you get. New Orleans wow. is going to get their rise again and fly up like the Phoenix with the blazing fury of summertime coming into New York. Look for the weather. It's going to be getting piping hot like New Orleans on the field. Look for Nola to cover and win. I categorically with the blazing fury of summertime. John, I know about we're going to Matt McCarthy. Put we're that in your pipe and smoke it with that other fun, funky stuff you're smoking. I'm sorry, John. How about what? that, pal? And who you're and who are you picking, Matt McCarthy? I'm picking New York. Oh, that's a shocker. Shocks. They have to win this game. They have to win this game. And they, you know, they have lost the last two weeks in heartbreaking fashion with some unbelievable performances from guys that we've never heard of, including last week an 8-0 game in Quincy, Massachusetts. So they're at home. Their back's against the wall. If they're even slightly he healthier, they're going to win this match. Who do you think is going to win this match, Layfield? I think Nala. Nala is coming up, and they're going to roll them boys. All right. Because New York is not healthy. This is not the New York team that won the championship last year. They've got tons and tons of injuries. I understand they're back against the wall. They're going to play these boys hard. They are a good, tough team, but they're missing too many players. All right. And then we have Utah Warriors hosting the Legion. San Diego coming off their win at home versus Houston. Minus nine on the road, John. Too many points on the road. I think San Diego might be the best team in MLR. They certainly looked great last week, and they had an emotional win. They go into Houston earlier in the year. They lose that game right at the end of the game. Houston makes that incredible comeback. They redeem themselves. They get their revenge games this past week. Now they got to go to the mountain people up in altitude. I think the emotional letdown spot is going to get them. I'm not sure that Utah wins this game, but that's too many points to give to a team coming off an emotional game that is traveling. So I'm going to take Utah at plus nine. And we had Greg Cooper on MLR weekly last week, and he was not happy about their performance in against old glory. Plus they had a buy. I like Utah to cover the spread as well. Let's go over to France. John, anything stick out for you as a good pick in the top 14? You dang right. I once wrestled Leon White, Big Ben Vader. It's time. It's time. I fear no man. I feel no pain. That's what Perry Peon is going to feel. Pain. Pain. Prediction. Pain. Leon. All the way. Gip, that's tough to follow. What do you got? Look, there's one thing that you can always expect from the French, and the French to be emotional for almost no reason sometimes. But in this case, I think there's a big one. I get that. Yeah, yeah, but you're Irish. And and this situation, yeah. Toulouse took the, the fury of the Irish, the ilk of the Irish going through, and they're about to take it out on this third-place team in the top 14. And they're not getting a URC out of this. So Toulouse may as well be able to show off what they can do at home. Let Look at Toulouse to be able to take this one on the wave at home with the full fury of one of the most talented teams to choke when it matters most. Let's go. I like that. I'm going to go with Montpellier. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you actually Irish or are you just like saying that to cover up for your booze baggery? <laughs> you're like a, you're a booze bag. You just like drink all the time. You like morning drink, your afternoon drink, drink at night. You drink all the time. So are you just like say, oh, I'm, I'm Irish. You're trying to make excuses. Uh, for the fact that you are is a booze baggery. Is person. it beer 30 yet? Uh, uh, I think the answer to your question is both, really, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'm going with Montpellier. They're going to crush Brev. And if you don't know what Brev is, it's B-R-I-V-E. Okay? Look it up. How do you say the first one? I say money. money. Montpellier making money. All right, skipping down to uh, Super Rugby Pacifica. Gift, anything uh, catch your eye down in the Super Rugby setup? All right, look, man, there's one thing that I can't appreciate is a good flower versus ants flow, as I understand it. And that's Wartos versus the Reds. And within that one, these are two teams that won last week, had great outcomes, even though the Wartos, uh, they played a little bit too close. But I look for the Reds. I look for the Reds to be able to pop through this one, be able to really make a splash and just absolutely cover in the points, just really make a mess of things over there. John, the king is the best. That's what I think right there. 
And I'm going with Brumbies. The Brumbies taking on the Rebels. They lay an eight and a half on the road. I don't care. Go with the Brumbies. I, I like that. I like I like the fact that you I don't care me. if you do. I don't you don't have to give me affirmation. It does not matter to me what you think. All right. Go with the Brumbies. It's real. I'm just trying to bond here. I'm just trying to bond. Right? I don't want to bond with you. I don't like you. I just want to bond. And 1.4 billion in people, billion people in India don't like you. Right. They don't. Well, a whole country. They're going to start liking me if they start following my picks like the next one. The Crusaders are going to absolutely annihilate the Western Force. Why don't we have a million followers? We're, <laughs> we are winning. We won. Tw- we win- we're won. winning so many games. I think people don't like you. That's, the, you know, I don't. That's a to- lie. There's no truth in that. I don't even know how that's capable. I think they don't like you. That's the problem. <laughs> but I'm taking the Crusaders minus 25 and a half. And here's the rest of our picks. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. From New York City comes America's longest running and most popular rugby show. The biggest names in Major League Rugby, MLR highlights, and big match previews. Rugby Wrap-Up presents MLR Weekly, made in New York City. And we are back. Fellas, we're going to switch codes and we're going to go to the NRL and pick our league action with the mullets, John. What do you like? The mullets? Look, it's a bi-level cut is what it is. It's business in the front, party in the back. Now, I don't know for sure if this is like a trailer park that a rugby game has broke out because a lot of them don't have sleeves on. They got the mullets. They got the business in the front part of the back, but they're very tough athletes. I will give them that. And it's a very exciting game, by the way. But I'm taking the Broncos against a team that I cannot believe, the, the Manly Sea Eagles. Somebody sat around and thought, we're going to name our town Manly. I would like to see the person that did that. Like, oh, look at me. I'm manly. That that person, I can guarantee you, manly is not an adjective used to describe the person that named the town manly. I can guarantee it. And I refuse to bet on anything that would name themselves manly or sea eagles or sea turtles or sea urchins or whatever the hell they are. I don't care. The Broncos are going to go in there and roll them boys. And they're boys. They ain't manly. All right, and you know what? If you think about it, it is kind of a sexist name. Why isn't it womanly? A hundred percent. They need to change the name. Yeah, Look, let's. That is not woke at all. That's our platform. That's what we're going to ride on. Gift, who do you like? We're woke. We're woke. Woke, absolutely woke. And just like the we're how woke we are, this game Cowboys versus Cox. I'm sorry, Cowboys versus Roosters is going to be. A real woke game. All right. (laughs) So look for this one. Land Roosters have been in all NRL season. And we are looking for the Roosters to really stick it to them Cowboys. All right. Are you breaking down? Are you breaking down a porno or a rugby game? (laughs) We've just gone off the rails here on the rugby odds, ladies (laughs) and gentlemen. I want to apologize to all the kids in the orphanages out there watching this program. It's just a shame. I YMCA a win for the Roosters in this game, man. Look for them to cover and to take it up against the Cowboys. Roosters (laughs) is the only name that could not rival Manly. 
the only name that could rival Manly. I, I, the only one. You cannot say I'm from Manly. You can't. You can't tell anybody in the world that without being made fun of. So if you're in Manly right now, you need to move. All right. On that note, trying to segue, let's go to Super Rugby America's gift. Anybody there that you can maybe change the uh, narrative here and pick? This is going to be all about Southam. Chile's national team. I can't say anything more than that. Like, it's just, it is that game. John, who do you like? There are certain questions that stand immortal. What is time? What is the meaning of life? And who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? Dogus, Dogus. I'm going Dogus over Pampas. Because who let the dogs out? Who, who? We answered that question at the CRC Sevens Championship. We now know. We have it on good authority that George Santos, who did indeed let the dogs out. I knew it. I knew it. He, and he wrestled against you, and he uh, played with gift. <laughs> it's time for our picks of the week. Two picks. Hot Atlanta to take it to Chicago. I think Chicago's folded the tents. They've gone in for the season. Atlanta's going to win this game. they got to win this game. They need to win this game, and they're going to win this game. And bet the under in New York and Nala. Mm, interesting gift. I'm looking at San Diego versus Utah. Look for San Diego to continue their pathway. Close game, but get the win, but not the points. All right, I'm going with an over. I think the old glory Dallas match is going to be like 75 to 70 in that. I don't see anybody playing any defense in that match. So I'm just looking at a lot of points being scored. So if you're seeing something like 50 to 55 points, Grab the over. But aside from the over, I've also got Castro over Powell. Take Castro over Powell in the top 14. On that note, guys, we're out of time. Plugs, gift. Hey, look, the number one plug, man. Shout out to Howard University women taking on Claremont, getting a chance to be not only the first HBCU in a national championship game in rugby, but to possibly be the first women's sport at Howard University in 156 years of existence to win a national championship. Get through this. Let's get this going. And of course, check out Rugby Swag, the podcast, you know, wherever you see it. Boom. Drop the mic. John. Memphis Inner City Rugby. I'd say it every single week. Look them up. Go on their website. Look up and see what they do with the game and how they influence kids' lives and support them, either monetarily or through social media. At least retweet their stuff. Follow them. Do all that different stuff. You never know who you'll, who you'll inspire out there. Excellent. Excellent. I want to plug the CRC7s, the NCR uh, Collegiate Rugby 7s Championships that were in Gaithersburg, Maryland. I know I'm probably saying that wrong, but what a complex, what an excellent event. The Maryland Soccerplex if you out of a rugby event, you need it there. Bermuda grass fields, proper rugby pitches, 12 fields, a great main stadium, and a lot going on right around the stadium and the new little town they got going on there. And on that note, I want to thank Mr. John, Brad Shaw, yes. Layfield, the WWE Whoa. Hall of Famer, Mr. Gift A. Bailu, King Gift A. Bailu, the inventor of words, and thank you for tuning in. Please check out our other shows, including... MLR Weekly, the college rugby wrap-up. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. And please join our American Red Cross blood donor team.